welcome to the project demonstration of uh, XR drone uh, to drop the fire balls uh, using this servo motor and also live streaming with the help of this Wi-Fi camera and uh, we have interfaced this six BLDC motors uh, to the PIX AUC uh, flight controller through the six ESCs so the ESCs are 30 amps uh, rating and there we are using a uh, three uh, clockwise motors and three anti-clockwise counter-clockwise motors so as we can found on this one on the motor readings you can see that this is a clockwise okay and uh, yeah, at the, yeah at the last we can see that it's a clockwise and uh, remaining or uh, remaining uh, two are the counter-clockwise like three clockwise motors and the three counter-clockwise motors right so this one is the rc controller uh, we are using fs ia 6 b uh, which is used to receive the commands from this transmitter uh, remote controller fly sky module and we have interfaced the gps module uh, which has the compass also and uh, the buzzer indication and we are using a 2200 mah uh, lithium and uh, lithium polymer battery pack we are using so which is rechargeable so though we are providing a extra battery through the charger so which will uh, use it to charge this battery just connect this at this slot and uh, keep this charging till these three lights turn into the green so when these two are green and uh, two cells are fully charged a third cell is charging it will take around four to five hours based on the uh, battery levels inside this battery pack so before demonstration keep the battery under full charge and uh, while demonstrating if uh, the system not responding according to the input if it's not flying uh, the respective input then uh, the indication of the battery is got fully discharged then keep the battery uh, another one for testing purpose so before demonstration first of all we need to install application to check the visuals in your mobile phone through this camera so which is the AV camera we can get the audio and video directly from this one now uh, install the v380 application in your mobile phone before demonstration or tablet also now connect the battery pack to the connector so check properly black to black red to red so as it will accept only one direction so after that so it will get initialized wait till the ip camera will announce the system initialized You can go with try with so system so you can hear the sound access point established after hear the sound so now go to your mobile phone Wi-Fi and uh, search for a uh, device IP address sorry uh, hot uh, Wi-Fi name uh, that is the uh, MV so as we can see the camera number also over here right and uh, here we can see that and we write the camera number along with the password so the password is PROJECT6806 all are small letters without any space so this one is the our camera Wi-Fi name so after connecting to that now right uh, open V380 right and try without uh, an account continue We can see this one add device. So in this one, continue add a device. Right. So now click on this add device. <coughs> there you can see the scanner of the QR code. Just scan your right. So now if I smart camera <coughs> add device again same uh, QR code scanning also you can do or else you can write the number also right now confirm so place any name finish so now it will ask for the password the password we have written on this uh, hand of this drone uh, project 6806 all are small letters without any space wait till it's get connected so it will take if it is more uh, more time then just uh, scroll down like this 
so it will provide you that and you can see the new device is connected and click on that it will ask for the password so you can set the password also so actually we resetted that just project 6806 Zero six. Okay, right now. Confirm. Yeah, right. A small mistake. Please keep the starting letter is a capital letter. Okay, right. So now you can see this. Yeah. Select so, one. Don't leave. So we are getting the live streaming directly from the drone. Now let us do the another checkup. So after uh, this visualization successfully done, now as already the Pixel got initialized, you can see the beeping sound. Only when it is a beeps like this. Now on this, now so keep this uh, one position all or one only. And this is to the control of the our dropping mechanism. See now I am rotating this clockwise, drop and counterclockwise, holding that. So now let's go with the flying one, and we can see the visuals here also. Now, so you can see this GPS angle on this one. So it is going to be the front side. Again, it's a front side. So I am showing the heading. So this is the front side now. So let's see the demonstration. So this is a switch, so hold this, this is a switch, press and hold, so here is the sound, now press, place this to the right side, hold it, right, now you can see this, now, so this one is the increasing the speed and this one is the direction controlling, now let us see that, so when it stops, again press it towards the right side, 